Hi everyone, if you are in class week two of Geometry A, you do not need to watch this video because we are going to cover this in class. But if you are an online student or if you miss class for any reason, this is a really good video to watch with a few extra uh, examples from unit one, lesson five. There will be some similar to these on the quiz. So one of the things we learned in unit one, lesson five, is we learned what vertical angles are and what a linear pair is. So vertical angles, remember, are angles that are across from each other in the X. They do not share a side. They're not right next to each other. However, they are congruent to each other. So Y is 76 degrees. That is the same size as the angle right across from it. On the other hand, x is a linear pair with the 76. These two angles over here in the red would make a linear pair. Because remember, a linear pair is when you have a line that's divided into a pair of angles like this and this. That would make a linear pair. And so their measures are supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. So if I do 180 minus 76, I'm left with 104 degrees. So X must be 104. And then across from X, its vertical angle is Z. It would be congruent to X. X and Z would be the same size. Also 104 degrees. Take a minute and imagine, how would you set up number two? You're gonna have to set up an equation. Are they equal to each other or do they add up to 180? If you're thinking these two angles are a linear pair, they should add up to 180 degrees. So 6x plus 3x plus 9 are 180. 9x plus 9 equals 180. Subtract your 9. So we have 9x equals 171. And you might need a calculator for this. I'm going to type it in really quick too. 171 divided by 9. Haha, -ha, it is a nice number. X is 19. Take a minute and think how would you set this one up to solve it for X? If you're thinking these are vertical angles, and vertical angles, when they're across from each other like this, are congruent, you are correct. So the X plus 16 should equal the 4x minus 5. So subtract your x, get your, your variables on the same side of the equal sign. You have 16 equals 3x minus 5. And then add your 5. 21 equals 3x. Divide by 3. And 7 equals x. Number 4. We are going to solve for x and y in this case. Take a look. Is there one that we should solve for first? I don't think it really matters. You can do y first. You can do x first. It doesn't really matter. I, I'm just going to go alphabetical. So I'm going to try to solve it for x. Now I'm looking at the x and I'm looking at the 63. And I'm thinking about these two angles right here. They form a linear pair. So are they equal to each other or do those two add up to 180? If you're thinking 180, you're right. So the 2x minus 17 plus the 63, those two angles together should add up to 180. Now I'm going to combine negative 17 plus 63. So I get 2x plus 46 equals 180. Then I'm going to minus the 46 over to the other side or subtract it. So 180 minus 46 is 134. Divide by 2. And we get 67 is x. Now that does not mean that angle is 67 degrees. It just means x has a value of 67. If you, you could check your answer and see if it makes sense. If you plug in a 67 right there, 2 times 67 minus 17. Let's see, 2 times 67 minus 17. That comes out to be 117. Does 117 plus 63 equal 180? It does. So that's one way you could check your answer. 
The other thing we have to do is we have to solve for y. Now, I'm going to look at the y, which is right over here on the left, and I see that is a vertical angle with the 63. Those two blue angles, they're across from each other. You can see them right here and right here. They're vertical angles. They should be congruent to each other. So y plus 23 should equal the 63. Minus 23 from both sides. y equals 40. And we're done. One last example. This one says solve for x and y. Um, I think in this case there is one we have to solve for first. I don't think we can start with y. I think we have to start with x in this case. I'm noticing these two angles with the x's in them. If you look uh, closely, if we draw in the x here, those two blue angles are vertical angles and they should be congruent to each other. So the 11x plus 34 should equal the 15x plus 18. And now I should be able to solve that for x. So let's get our variables together. So I have 34 equals 4x plus 18. Subtract your constant. So subtract the 18. Figure out what 34 minus 18 is. If you're getting 16, that's what I got also. Divide by 4. And x equals 4. Now we still have to solve for y. And so I'm going to erase some of my work here, my drawing. And then I want you to think about where the y is. So the y is this tiny little angle right over here. And I don't think we know like how big that angle is. Um, but one thing I do see is over here, this box. So think about that box, right? That box means 90 degrees. And right here, if I just draw in this red line, um, these would have to add up to 180. Well, if this box means 90, 180 take away 90 leaves us 90 for over here. So in other words, <clears throat> this, I'll do it in green, this angle right here plus this angle right here would have to add up to 90. And so if we take our x and we plug it in, our x was 4. If we plug it in right there, 15 times 4 plus 18, that's 60 plus 18, so that's 78. This part of the angle is 78. That means if I do 90 minus 78, I have 12 left. This little angle over here must be 12, and now we can use that to find y. That was a lot of work. But you're going to go 5y minus 3 must equal 12. Add 3 to both sides. 5y equals 15. Divide by 5, and y equals 3. That was a tricky one. You might want to watch that one one more time. So depending where you are in the week, um, you're working through these four lessons. Um, you might be almost done and you might just be starting. But if you get stuck, uh, don't hesitate to send me a Schoology message. I can always do a Google Meet or uh, message you back with some hints if you're stuck. So I'll look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.